I'm down here, are you? Yeah, I'm officially, like, climbing around in its leaves. <laughs> Chopping the top part of it off. Let's see what I can reach here. Ooh, careful now. Yeah, there is one of our little axes. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this tree. Ooh. Ow! Damn it! I fell out of a tree, man. That ain't cool. Alright, so there's some more junk in here on top of this tree. I need to get up there and grab that crap down. Let's climb back on top of one of these trees. <laughs> What's the best way to get up there? Well, I could use my dirt pile from earlier, couldn't I? Come back down here, you. Now stand still. Ugh, oh, missed. Alright, let's try this again. Hop back up there so I can collect all the pieces of wood that I've been making. Whoop, there we go. They all fell on top of this other tree here. Wow, they're going together in like a solid canopy here, these three or four trees down here. So we'll wait and see what becomes of the remains of that large tree up there. I'll back up a little bit and show you what's left of it. So I cut out a lot of the bottom of it and left just like some pieces in the top. So we'll see whether or not the canopy disappears. Look at how awesome this tree has gotten. Wow. Just while I was digging that other one, this one is... Well, maybe it was already like this, but I'm not sure. But it sure looks pretty cool. That's pretty nice. It's a big tree. Anyway, we got 40 pieces of, of uh, wood, so that's a successful venture. But I didn't just come out here for wood, I also came out here for sand, and so I'm going to go ahead and collect some more of that now before we head back. If I run into a spider in the night, so be it. I'd love to collect his string. Alright, back we go. Ah, uh, goodbye, tree grove. Damn, that tree got to be tall. That's crazy. That's really awesome, I gotta say. I should go back up into the boughs of that tree and put torches up there. That would be really cool, I think. Hey, sheep, how you doing? Hello, second sheep. You're both really loud and annoying. Give me your cloth. <laughs> Let's get my sword out in case I run into anything funny on the way home here. Not a whole lot from the looks of it. I probably could cut out some more of these trees close to home before we start killing out our tree grove too much. And look at our fortress we have built back here. It's nice to be able to return to something that seems safe like this. Our crops are growing a little bit, you can see. That's nice. Back into our nave. I should make a sign for the front. That would be nice. Into the Narthex farm. Alright, so what's next? Converting that wood into planks. Oh yes, this is going to be a lot of uh, planks. Oh wow. Holy moly, that's quite a bit. I don't think it's going to be enough for what we want to do, though. But I suppose we'll see. Uh, I know I could use other resources, but they wouldn't be as convenient as using wood. I suppose we'll find out. I'm going to I'm gonna have to find a place to build that. I don't know if I could make a space myself or if I need to go find one, but I suppose we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to keep working on uh, collecting other resources and such, and... I'm going to turn off the camera for a while and just kind of go off screen, and I'm going to collect a whole shitload of resources. And so I will see you guys uh, later, when I return to Minecraft. So, uh, let's see, what did we get done in this recording session? We uh, we played with water in the staircase and f the poor torches. <laughs> let's see, we what did we actually accomplish? We made our farm and we planted our seeds. Uh, we built the narthex that the farm is in. That's pretty good. I showed you guys the tree grove. That's pretty cool. We got all that done, so the trees are growing. And uh, we had that pretty awesome tree. Our crops are growing. We've cleared some area. We got the water going. We made a bucket. We found the iron down there. We went down and killed the skeleton and that creeper. We, we killed them. We didn't, get, we didn't take it. We, we didn't even uh, get killed even once. And so, I think this is going to be going uh, pretty good. So, uh, leave me a comment down there. If you have something cool that you want me to build or make, or just have some great idea. I know that you guys. There's a lot to do in this game, and it's a really uh, creative, like, kind of a sandbox, definitely a sandbox game. And so there's all kinds of great things you can build, and I have some really cool ideas. I have three things in mind that I'm working on uh, getting built soon. Uh, but if you have any ideas other than those, like, you can just guess, because I'm not going to tell you what the three are until we start building them, because I want you guys to be a little bit uh, in suspense. Anyway, so I'll see you guys uh, next time on Let's Play Minecraft, or rather... Angry Poncho's World of Minecraft, because this isn't really an LP since there's no real plot to this game. It's just like, let's do things. Let's build. See you later. Hello, everyone. 
Angry Poncho here, and welcome back to my world of Minecraft. I think that our crops are almost ready to be, uh, what's the word, harvested. We only have one hoe. Well, let's see. Is it left click? Yes, left click, and ah, look at that. We got some, uh, some wheat, I believe it is. And you see these ones with the brown tops are the ones that we want to, uh, go after, because the other ones aren't, re aren't quite... Uh, well, ripe isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. They're not quite ready to be picked. But we got just enough uh, wheat to actually make ourselves some bread. We just put three pieces of wheat in a line, and we can make a loaf of bread. Look at that. Eat that up, we get three hearts back. Or two and a half hearts, I mean. Very nice. Alright, so let's see. What is next? In this video, I want to make my stone project. I want to go ahead and cash in on this, get to work, and we'll see how far I actually can get uh, to start with here. I'm going to start with getting a five and a half, about five and a half blocks of, of uh, wood. Or I should say slots. I mean five and a half inventory slots of stone. I'm going to bring a little bit of dirt with me too, just to serve as a uh, a tool to help me when I'm working with the uh, the stone, because I can use the dirt as like a stepping stone if I like, because it's easier to uh, work with overall than stone is, because I don't have to use a pick to break it apart. Anyway, let's um, or do I have enough wood to make a door, a couple doors? That would be nice if I could make a couple doors, because I know we're going to need some. And honestly, our top of our skylight is just open right now. I'd love to be able to install a door there. That would be very nice. So we'll go ahead and, uh, well, it's the wrong chest there. Go ahead and put the wood back since we're not going to need it. All right, so let's go up to the top of our staircase. All right, here we are. So let's bust our way back out here, out into daylight again. Hoorah, hooray. We'll break these out too. I got some slowdown going on here. What is going on here? Frame rate issues. Jeez. I'm just going to wait for a second and see if it comes back up. Goodness, what's going on here? I mean, I could reduce my uh, rendering distance. That might help a little bit since we don't, we're not really here for the stunning vistas right now. So let's just turn this down to uh, normal. That'll make it run, I think, a little bit better. You see now things are... <laughs> Shit! Are you serious? Oh my gosh. A creeper. Wow. That's just joyous. Alright, well, we spawn back here by our wonderful grove of trees. Oh, jeez. Alright. Man, that sucks. Seriously, I just... just didn't react quickly enough, I guess. I was, I was more concerned about looking off into the distance and seeing if my rendering distance was working properly, but... Yeah, as you can see, all it really does is just make things that are more than a certain distance away look like fog. Yeah, for some reason, creepers don't burn up when the sun comes out, so... I don't know. I'll meet you guys back up at the top there, and hopefully we can recollect all the stuff that we just dropped everywhere. God, if that shit fell off of the top of there, we're never going to find it. Alright, we're back at the top here. And it does look like he blew our asses up right here next to the entrance, and so... Um, hopefully most of our tools will be... Oh, there's our door. <laughs> Jeez. We'll be sitting around right here. It looks like most of our stone and such is all... Still just stuck around here on the little slopes, the little corners that they get caught in. It doesn't look like we lost a whole lot. Our skylight's still intact. That's nice. He blew us up just far enough away from our uh, house that we didn't lose anything really important. Let's go ahead and fill this shit back in. I don't want a big creeper hole right next to my house. All right, so yeah, here is the staircase, and he he opened things up for us a little bit. I think. Do I have blocks there? I did have blocks there. Well, no, I didn't because I that would be underneath the skylight, wouldn't it? We probably had some here though, didn't we? That would make sense. So what we're going to do is make us a, a small little room here to prevent crap like that from happening. Uh, because we don't want to get smacked like that. Whoa, I'm inside a cloud. Alright, go back down. We'll go ahead and, let's see, about out to here. Alright, that should be enough. So we'll go ahead and just finish off this last layer. And we'll make space to put a door in here. 
boom. Oh, look, well, I, I, I have to get rid of the snow first, but there we go. So now we have an area that's closed off. We don't need that. I brought some torches with me, didn't I? Only two? Really? Alright, well, boom. We'll put one there. And we'll put one there. Nice. Alright, so. Oh my goodness, these clouds are going to drive me insane. Alright, basically, I'm building a castle in the clouds. And uh, the clouds are appropriate to be here, for them being here right now, because, uh, oh my goodness, are you serious, guys? When do these clouds end? Let me out. Oh, jeez, let me look and see. We've really got a cloudy day, don't we? Oh, man. Alright, well, let's... We'll work with it. We'll work with it. You can still see partially. Once we get above the clouds, we'll be alright, so no big deal there. So, basically how things are going to start here is, first I need to get all my crap back in the right slots. I appear to have picked up a half step somewhere around here, so I'm kind of wondering if I grab that from somewhere inside. Although it doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I just already had one with me. I don't know. Anyway, I was just saying, uh, like I was just trying to say, I got interrupted, but uh, we're going to build a castle in the clouds, and the way that this is going to start, i got to figure out exactly where I want to put it, because there's our narthex down there. We don't want to shade that out, because I don't have this plan to put uh, glass in the floor, although I could, it would be kind of neat actually to do that. And So I think, hmm... Just going right on top of this mountain might be the best way to do it. Uh, just for, you know, general purposes. We've got that tree sticking out over there. Well, maybe we should put it over that. Or maybe not. I don't know, I have some other things planned for these trees, but I'm not sure if I want to do that with them just yet. Anyway, we're going to build the castle, so let's get started. I'm going to pick a center point here. That seems to be about in the middle of this mountain top. Right, right there, I think, is where we want to start. I'm just going to put a square of four of these down. One, they're getting covered in snow already. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to need to get some torches up here. But uh, hopefully not until t this evening will it become important. So what we're going to do is work out in the four directions here. Until we have built a uh, flat surface that is 20 blocks wide and 20 blocks long. Definitely going to need some torches to keep the snow from piling up on this, though. So right now you see it's just 4 by 4. We're going to keep expanding it until it's 20 by 20. And so I will uh, I'll meet you guys back when that is done. There may be some zippity-doos, some fast-forwards or something. We'll see. Oh, the rest of our crops are... Just about ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, harvest these. And you see, some of them drop all, all wheat and uh, more seeds, which is very good because we're going to need the more seeds part in order to plant more. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of these down because I'm impatient. And then I'm going to go out here and plant, or I'm going to find the rest of the seeds that we've got in there. And we will use them to. Uh, plant some more, so that while we're working on this castle, we'll have our uh, seeds growing here. Is that all I've got right there? Down to 11 seeds? Alright. Hopefully we can propagate some more. I can go dig around on the ground outside if I really uh, decide I, I need to. I'll go ahead and plant all these, and then get back to work on our castle. Alright, so I've come to the conclusion that these clouds are actually annoying as hell. And so, uh, rather than building my castle on top of this uh, particular mountaintop, I'm going to build a bridge over to that area where the tree is, the tree that we put the torch on, and I'm going to build on top of that mountaintop, because working inside these clouds is just obnoxious. Oh my god. So I'm going to move all this crap over to that other mountaintop.